So welcome back to the channel guys and after my last video where I simulated the 1070 Ti I managed to get in contact with someone who could source me a 1070 Ti and since I'm not under any sort of agreement or NDA I just decided to give you guys the benchmarks so here they are. Now I'm going to make this video as quick as possible, but I have a couple of points to make. So first of all, it's pretty much what you expect. For 5% less CUDA cores than a 1080, you get 5% less performance. Now be mindful that this is a 1070 Ti overclocked to around about 1870 MHz versus my EVGA 1080 for the win at stock clocks, but you're pretty much getting what you expect, which is 1080 performance at a lower price without G5X memory, and that's pretty much it. There's no other downsides. Now, the other perspective is that if it's just as close to a 1080, why not just spend a little bit more and get the 1080? You're going to get the faster memory. You're also going to be able to overclock the 1080 and get that extra performance out of those five extra CUDA cores or 5% extra CUDA cores. So I say it's really up to you. But my second point here is that the pricing is what will really decide whether someone purchases this card over a 1080. So for US buyers, I think it's a little bit easier. So on Newegg right now, the cheapest 1070 Ti is $449 versus the cheapest 1080, which is $489. Now keep in mind for the 1080, that's a sale price, but on average there's around about a 10 to 12 percent gap in price between a 1070 Ti and the 1080. So in that region, it kind of makes sense to maybe cheap out and get the 1070 Ti since you're spending, you know, 10% less and only getting 5% less performance. But then there's regions like Australia, where I am, where the GTX 1080 can be found for as little as $10 more than a 1070 Ti at the same store. And in some cases, it's actually even cheaper to get a 1080 than it is to get the 1070 Ti. So I think region pricing is what will heavily determine whether someone picks up a 1070 Ti over a 1080. But on top of that, this is my third point. I think that this is kind of the worst time to push out a 1070 Ti, especially since Nvidia has the Destiny 2 promotion going on for the 1080 and the 1080 Ti, which basically gives you Destiny 2, a $60 game for absolutely free. So when you look at the 1080 pricing, even in North America, it might actually be a better option to pick up the 1080 as you get the five percent more CUDA cores, you get the G5X memory, you can overclock the 1080 and get even more performance than you would get out of the 1070 Ti, and then on top of that you get a free $60 game which is Destiny 2. So all in all, I just see no reason to pick up a 1070 Ti over a 1080, and if you're in a region like mine where you can even find them at the same price or even a 1080 cheaper than a 1070 Ti, it just makes no sense, especially when you get that game on top. Now, as for Vega, you know, the 1070 Ti versus Vega 56, I don't have a Vega 56 to compare this with. Uh, I never got sent one. No one at AMD apparently knows who I am. So I'm just guessing that the reason that the 1070 Ti is as close to the 1080 is as possible is to beat the Vega 56 at stock when they're both at stock. But this whole launch just seems really messy. And I guess my conclusion is to buy a GTX 1080 
since right now you get the game, you get better performance once overclocked, you get better memory, and it's just sort of in the same price range anyway. And if you're going to spend that much money, you might as well just spend a little bit more and upgrade to something that will give you more performance. So overall, the 1070 Ti just seems like the most pointless product. And it appears to be Nvidia just selling off chips that didn't quite make the cut at becoming a GTX 1080. But you guys could tell me in the comments section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, slap a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.